in Geneva. Sunday, uh, April 28th, and it's uh, I don't know, one o'clock in the afternoon. And we got out and got things set up, and uh, as I got started running, I happened to think of old Doc Goldhog. He likes those big fancy words. And uh, I got one for you, Doc. It's called uh, Harmonious Synchronization. <laughs> Dingus' catchword for the day. Harmonious Synchronization. It's when you get two sluices relatively side by side, working just the way you want them. And that was my goal for the day. I wanted to uh, be able to compare the uh, Green Mountain Farm to the uh, Green Mountain Pastry Cleaner. And you know, you might say, ah, oh, they guess you're being prejudiced. You're comparing tangerines to oranges. Well, I thought of that too. So, uh, <laughs> as a side job, when I get bored feeding them too, I got the old uh, grizzly, uh, maybe you call it the mother load or something. It's like the big whacker. And so when, when I get tired, actually when I get tired, uh, I can't keep up with those two down there. So I come up and uh, tend to this one and have a drink of soda pop and look downstream and make sure they haven't floated away and take stock of the situation all around me. The weather. So, you know, I'm in a good spot. And uh, oh, Bubba's kind of enjoying it. It's not too hot, not too cold in me. Okay. It's like having a remodeled living room. <laughs> and uh, I never have to change a channel or turn the volume up or down. So uh, once again, this is Dangus and Eva. Hey, Bubba. Hey, we're having a good time. And we are practicing our harmonious synchronization times three. <laughs> Have a great day. Uh, this is Dingus and Eva. We'll get back with you later on. Let's see how things are going. It's a wonderful life. Hey, don't go too far there, Beaver. Hey, it's uh, Dingus back. And uh, I got thinking. I wonder if anyone's believing, thinking, like, uh, how can a guy run three sluices at once? And, uh, I guess seeing's believing, huh? Watch this. Start right here. I can fix some from over here by where the dam used to be. Or maybe this side of it. Over here. I kind of like this stuff. Kind of grody, grungy, yucky looking. Find a good scoop of it. Ah, oh yeah. We got lower looking stuff. And we bring it. And we drop her down. And we head for the other two. I'm just trying to relax. Let's go and take you downstream. Yeah, here we are. That's what we do. Mm. Big scoop. And we place some of this fine material on a little pastry tender. That's about enough for that one. One centimeter. Plop it on, the, on that one. And get another scoop. This pastry tender is a little light. And give it a little bit more. And adjust the load here. And as I said yesterday, repeat the process until you drop. <laughs> A little bit of truth to that. But, uh, been my experience.
It's all about how much material you need. Believe me. Okay? We, we are moving so much around. All right, stick with this lead. Okay. Can't dilly dally too long. What a way to spend a Sunday afternoon, huh? <laughs> I love it. <sighs> A little bit for this one, which as you can see, it's just about clean. And, you know, riverbed hog. Doing its thing. Alright, uh, tailing a little bit. Those. So that's how Dangus spends his Sunday afternoons. Sunday night I'll go home and uh, cook up a wonderful dinner for me and the missus and, and my baba. Because uh, by then we'll, all three of us will be really hungry. I think she's out on a shopping spree again on Sunday. Oh, she's with her mother. Ma yeah. Sunday's spent taking care of her elderly mother. So, uh, this gives dingus all day and, uh, not too much to worry about. So, you know, he's in his happy place because it's Sunday. And, uh, we better shut up because <laughs> pretty soon we'll be out of synchronization. So, this is, uh, dingus and Eva. Saying goodbye for now. We'll see you maybe during a uh, a triple clean out. <laughs> Have a great afternoon. Bye bye. We're gonna do a clean out and uh, go from there. So we'll start out with a little pastry cleaner. We shut the water off with a bucket. And we remove the pin. And we pull the box. Sure to remove any fod from the flight line. And reinstall the box carefully. Yeah. Reinstall the pin. And boom. Press down. Turn the water back on and move. Oh, look at that. We go over to the Red hog. We shut the water off with the bucket. Clear the debris. Pull the pin. Close the box. And again. Splash, splash, splash. Press down. Again. Don't any foreign objects and debris. Then bring her in for a nice, easy landing. Don't forget to tie her down when you're done. Okay. Oh, nice view. Alright, let's go do that. Uh, the orphan. The stepchild. <laughs> What's that saying? I think we're going to need a bigger bucket. Yes, sir, we are. And when I came from here. 
seen how quick and easy the uh, Green Mountain Gold Trap turns out. This is uh, your alternative. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. And I have both models of this one also. But since I did two the day before and three today, <laughs> I gotta have something to do tomorrow. All four of them now. already dropped from 80 down to 60 probably. And, uh, this one, you don't have to worry about uh, shutting the water off. It's kind of, uh, oh yeah. You can see little pieces of gold on the skid, skid plate. This one here has and it's all full of nice fine flower gold. You just run your finger over it. And if you forget to do that, you push the box up. Brings a whole new meaning to uh, oh. dip, 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 splash, splash, splash. But it is, uh, it is done. Take it. Flop it upstream. <laughs> Let nature do its thing. Well, there we go. Ta da! Come on, V. There she is. Beautiful. Beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I gotta go take my clothes back out. At least put one layer back on. And we're gonna feed these things one more time. We got enough time before dinner's ready. will still be standing and it won't be snowing. <laughs> this is Dingy Sneva. And uh, saying bye for now and see you again before we go. Well, good morning. It's Dingy Sneva. Cleaning up from our Sunday down in Jurassic Park on Cherry Creek. I believe the word for the day was harmonious synchronization.